Hoopers, I'm Violet, and today we're going to be learning the bus saw and its variations. So first I'm going to show you what we'll be learning, and then after I will break it down to easy steps so you guys can follow and play with these moves at home. So first, the bus saw, where your hands are flat, the hoops are going in different times, this cool little flower move, you want to lean back and stretch. And then we'll be changing directions of one of the hoops. Bring one up, one down, up, down, up, down, and back, back. And then my favorite, we're going to learn how to do the bus saw on our fingers, just kind of letting them roll over our index fingers. And then putting them together to do the one handed bus saw. Okay, for the bus saw, we have two hoops. To learn it, we only need one for right now. So put your other hoop to the side. Okay, and the first step to this is making sure you have the right size hoop. So my hoop, it's shorter than arm's length, so it's not going to hit me. Um, you know, I was trying to teach a girl one time, she's like, how do I like hoop uh, do the bus saw without it hitting me? And I like, looked at her hoops and they were um, longer than arm's length. Well, you have to have a smaller hoop so they don't hit you. And the first key to having doing the buzz saw is creating an L with your hand, with your palm. This is a backwards L since it's my right hand. And facing your palm inwards. So you want to be saying hello to your palm. You know, hi palm. So then you um, put the hoop in between your, in the little crust of that L. So you have your hoop here. And then we're just going to let the hoop spin on that crust right there. And keeping your arm straight. So if you bend it, so the hoop's going to get closer to you and it's going to hit you. So it's important to have straight arms, straight elbows, don't bend. But for the strike, unless you have smaller minis and you can kind of, you know, get them closer to you, I highly recommend for learning this move, straight elbows. It's important. So now that we have this side, we do the same thing. We create an L, palm facing forward, so we're saying hello to our palm. Putting the hoop at the crest of that L in the little corner and having the hoop spin towards us. And that's a little intimidating at first because the hoop's coming right towards your face, but it's fine. Just spinning, your hand's going to catch it. And learning um, what their palms faced Alan towards us, we're going to have more control of the hoop. I know a lot of people learn on their thumbs, and you know that's a good way to learn. I mean, everybody's different, but I prefer to have it on my palms because we have more control. You don't feel like the hoop's about to spin off your thumb and hit you on your face, whereas you have more control. You can grab it with your hands, whereas you are rolling under your thumb. It's really, it's really hard to grab, I think, because you have to grab it with it facing towards you, where as we have it on your palm. Just grab it facing out. Um, so we get comfortable with both both hands. And once we have both hands ready, we can put it together. So let's put it together. I have my right hand. And then we're creating L's on both sides and letting the hoop spin over this little corner of the L on both hands. And the main thing is these hoops are going at opposite time. When I first started learning, I was doing the same time which is a great way to learn get used to the hoops coming towards your face, but you, wanna, you want opposite time to create that cool flower effect. So kind of like while one hand's like moving up a little bit, the other hand's moving down when you're creating that spin. All right, and that's the buzz saw. And if you guys have any more questions, I know my explanations are a little, little fuzzy. It's my first tutorial, so please ask away some videos on the buzz saw. I'm more than happy to help. Okay, so in this variation, we're going to be changing the direction of one of the hoops. So we have our bus saw, what we just learned, and then we're going to change direction of one of the hoops to create this cool effect. I'm not sure what the name of this trick is, so someone can message me and let me know. We come in, come out, whoa. All right, so um, to learn this, just do this, um, keep your elbows straight, have your hoop spinning in 
four, but we just learned, well, we just did in one direction, but then we're going to change direction. So I put my thumb to um, break it and then uh, spin it in the opposite direction. So just practice spinning in the opposite direction, break with the thumb, spin towards you. Break with the thumb, opposite direction. And just get comfortable changing directions just with one hand. And let's try it with both, because we're hoopers, and we always try everything in the opposite direction, and, every, and we also try it on both hands. It's always important to try on both hands. So, <laughs> All right, so now we can put it together. We have our buzzsaw, and I'm going to change direction on my right hand, because so my right hand is my dominant hand. So I break, another spinning, come up, move the center, come up, you know, work on moving your arms up and down, and then you can bring them all the way back, this hoop's that. try to keep them in the same plane, I know I'm being a little sloppy, but you, um, so you come back, and then you can bring them forward, again, changing directions when you bring, bring them back, to create this cool little buzzsaw effect, and it's, you know, it's also a fun fan move, too, for anybody who spins fans. Come forward, and you're changing directions each time you come back. So when you bring, the, bring each hoop up, you um, break with your thumbs, and then bring back forward. It's a cool little move. All right. All right, so for my favorite variation of the best saw is the one-handed best saw. So to start, we're going to put one hoop down, again, and we're going to just start with one hoop, and we're going to be learning how to do the bus all on our index fingers. So we're creating an L with our fingers, and um, just doing this exact same thing, except for rolling over our index fingers. So get used to moving it up and down, and doing it on both hands, so index fingers, and then we... Bring them together to do the bus all on our index fingers. It's really important to do on our index fingers because when we transfer the hoops, it's going to be on our index fingers. I tried doing this um, move when I was first learning it on my palm. And when I try to do it on my palm, they like tend to clash a lot more um, rather than your index finger. I guess it's maybe because the since your index finger is skinnier, it just rolls nicer. So, um, so now that we can do it on our palms, it's time for the transfer, and this is the hardest part. Once you get the transfer, you're golden. All right, so in order to get the transfer, just let's just practice with one hoop. So um, I have one hoop spinning, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, right index finger, so I ha I'm going to be having another hoop on here, and I'm going to place it on top of my left hand. Or you can do this opposite, whatever hands dominant, and whatever works for you. But this is what I do. Um, so then that so once I put this finger, um, my right hand finger, on top of my left hand, that hoop's going to be automatically rolling over my right hand. I can just slide that other finger out. So let's do it with two hoops now. It's where it gets tricky. So you do the exact same thing. Make sure. When you're spinning on your right hand, that um, hoop is towards your palm, close to your palm as possible while still spinning. So you come in, you put your um, right hand on top of your left, right finger on top of your left finger to create that cool um, to create, to transfer the hoops, and then they're transferred. And now that they're transferred, you want to um, have one hoop. So I have my one hoop as close to me, close as my palm as possible, while my other hoop is resting right here. So when you're jiggling your finger, <laughs> you're kind of just like jiggling back and forth. You want it to go in opposite time, or at the same time. And that's also probably the second hard part about this move is making sure the um, hoops go in split time. And it's easier to make them go in split time the further you have them apart. I know it's hard at first because the outside hoop is just barely rolling over, is um, barely rolling over the tip of your finger. So um, just maybe even just practicing, you know, having the hoop roll over the tip of your finger if you're having trouble keeping that hoop on, if it's flying off. So 
All right, let's do it one more time and break it down in steps. We're learning on our fingers. We're going to have the right hand come on top of our left finger so they transfer. And then we want that left finger, you know, on, like, um, we want that hoop just on the tip so they create the um, opposite time effect. Because when, when I was first learning these moves, it was really easy just to make them go at the same time. Really, you want them to separate a little bit more and have them go in opposite time to create that nice flower effect. All right, I hope this tutorial was really helpful for you. One of my favorite moves that I love, love when I'm performing to end on this move. So it's just a great little move where I can just put the hoops high up, raise the other arm, and it's a cool little move to end on. So, all right. These would apply off, but when learning. <laughs>